Okay, today we're just going to be testing out this wax polish from Natural Earth Oils. So I bought this on Amazon, I think, and I was just looking for a food safe wax polish. This is designed for chopping boards, salad bowls, that sort of thing. So it's a wax polish, it's made from beeswax and linseed oil, carnauba wax, I think, and some other natural waxes. So let's have a actually. It's interesting, it smells quite clean and fresh, and it smells like you could cook with it almost, actually. There's no scent as such, it smells like cooking oil, I suppose. So I'm going to try this out on my big hand-carved wooden spoon, and just see what that's like on there. So, Because obviously I want a food-safe finish on here. It's quite a hard wax, so... We're having to work quite hard to actually get some off the surface of the tub there and then work it into the spoon like that. It's quite nice to put on actually. It's quite, um, it's not too runny. It's got quite a nice sort of paste finish to it. So that feels really good. And wow, that's really brought up the shine of that wood, really bringing out the grain and all the imperfections in my carving. But never mind, it was meant to be a quirky little spoon, this one. Quirky is another way for, of saying not very well made. Um, yeah, that looks really nice. Well, well, the, the finish looks really nice. The spoon actually looks a little bit worse than it did before because the wax, as I say, has brought out all of the imperfections and the bits I didn't sand properly. Never mind. So we've got a polish this wax on and then wait for it to dry and soak in a little bit and then buff it off with a soft cloth. So get a nice coat all over. It's going on very nicely. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this so far. The thing I like about this is where it's quite a firm paste, there's not too much waste. So other wax polishes I found in a tin, they're, they're quite a, a soft paste texture and as a result you always end up picking up too much onto the cloth and there's a lot of waste involved. This doesn't seem to be like that, this is quite a hard paste, it doesn't seem to implicate too much waste in the process. We'll have to leave that now to set, it does feel very greasy at the moment. So we've got to just leave that to soak into the wood and then we'll give it a polish back with a soft gloss. Oh, even no, come on. Okay, we are trying a little experiment today. So this is a piece of flint, and this is a belt sander. Now, flint is, well, I think seven on the Mohs scale of hardness. This is aluminium oxide, which is eight or nine, so it should be okay. So it should be possible to grind this down. So I'm just gonna try grinding that, that side that's already quite flat, because it's got an interesting pattern in it. I'm gonna see if we can work flint today with abrasives and then if we can I'm going to figure out what to do with this I think it might be a case of cutting a slice of it Let's see what we can do with that Okay, well it certainly does appear to be possible. It's very slow going, but actually we've got some really nice shiny bits. Even though this is only 80 grit paper, it's actually polishing it down to a very nice glossy finish. And some of the beautiful colours inside the flint are coming out there. I may stop here because it's just so slow going and that isn't a straight line anyway. I think I need to get the diamond bits on that and actually gut, cut that flat and then polish it smooth once it's flattened. But anyway, that's an interesting experiment and I think it's promising.
So four or five hours later, the stickiness is definitely gone. And there's just a very nice, soft, sort of waxy finish there. It's all soaked in nicely. The, obviously the, the more liquid components have soaked into the wood or evaporated away, probably soaked in. And it's left with a nice surface sheen of wax, which will protect it from moisture. So I imagine this finish is probably more suited to salad bowls and chopping boards than wooden spoons, because wooden spoons will tend to get immersed in liquids. But never mind. So that's, that's my wooden spoon nearly finished. There's one more thing to do. Pretty good. So yeah, now that I've actually learned to use this LX draw properly and configure it properly, it's actually quite a competent little laser engraver. So I'm going to build a fume hood for this so that we can have a, a proper smoke extraction for it. And then there's going to be some more projects coming using this LX draw laser engraver. So expect to see this LX draw laser engraver in some more videos quite soon now. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.